What's going on with you guys? It's your boy John Mike from Gospel Multitracks, and today I'm going to be showing you how to control lyrics from Ableton Live using a new software that I recently came across called Proclaim by Faith Life. Uh, so I'm going to jump in here on my computer and I'm going to first show you how this is all going to work, give you just a quick demo of how it all goes. So I'm going to start my countdown here in Proclaim. And so it's, you know, typical church countdown. And let's just say the worship leader is ready to go ahead and go into the song. So I'm going to press the space bar and start my tracks here in Ableton. And let's watch what happens inside of Proclaim. So pretty cool, right? You can see how it kind of jumps from one lyric to the other without me having to do anything. It's all seamless, all synced across there. So let me show you how to make this happen. We're going to go over here to audio MIDI setup and I'm going to double click on the IAC driver and make sure that that device is online. So once I've done that, all I have to do is jump back over to Ableton, go into preferences, and then we're going to go down here and make sure that the IAC driver bus is turned on for track. All right. That's the second step. Also inside of Proclaim, this is what you need to do or inside of ProPresenter if you're using that uh, is go into your settings and go into your MIDI input settings. And there you will see a section inside of Proclaim right here where you can actually add MIDI commands. So uh, I have a very simple MIDI command set up to just go to the next slide. So as you can see here, it's set up for a MIDI note on. Uh, note is C1 and it's going on that MIDI channel one. And you can do this just by hitting the add command, selecting whatever command you want. There are a list of commands here inside of Proclaim like previous slide, next slide, go on air, uh, previous audio item. You even got things where you can jump back to the verse, jump back to the bridge, so on. So you can be as simple or as dynamic as you want with these MIDI uh, cues that you set up. So once you've set up this, like I've set up this little MIDI note for C, uh, note C1, I'll go into Ableton and create a MIDI clip. And I have a track here called Lyric Q, and I have it set to send out external to the IAC driver bus. You know, the input is the IAC driver and the output is the IAC driver. That's all I really need to make sure I've done. Then I create a MIDI cue here and I have that MIDI note at negative, C negative one, just set up. And I set that up on each one of these MIDI cues inside of arrangement view here at the very precise measure or bar that I want for that lyric to change. So I have it set up right here to go to next slide once it hits the intro, to go to next slide once it hits the O's, to go to next slide once it hits uh, the first and so on and so forth. And so you can easily go through and set up your entire service and be as dynamic or as simple as you want. Like I said, this is a very simple way of doing it. And inside of Proclaim, it's very easy to set up slides. I'm not going to really do a deep tutorial on how to set up slides and everything inside of Proclaim because there's a million tutorials on how to do that. And you can check it on Proclaim's website and even on their YouTube channel how to do that. But you can set up your slides and set it up to where you can send MIDI cues back and forth. And that's really all you really need to do to make this happen. It's very simple, very easy to do, very easy to set up. Hope this video has been a blessing to you. I hope it helps you. Check out Proclaim Faith Life, uh, Proclaim very very amazing software I just came across. I know they've been around for a little while, but I'm just now running across them. And I think it's awesome because it's cross-platform. It works on Windows and it works on Mac, so you just don't have to be you know, set up just to do it on a Mac. You can do this on Windows as well. All right, guys, 
Hope this helped you. We'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching.